Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Padlet to create a multimedia timeline. Let's go ahead and take a look. So I'm here in Padlet.com. I'm signed in. I just use my Google account to sign in to my Padlet dashboard. And we're going to make a Padlet. And we're going to use the timeline template. Now, one of the things to note about the timeline template is it's just a very faint line that appears across the screen. So if you have a really busy background, for example, this background is quite busy, it might be hard for your students or for your students who are sharing with you, it might be hard for you to see the line itself. So go in and change that wallpaper. And let's just do a solid color to make that line a little easier to see. So maybe I'll use like this blue color. Now that line's a little bit easier to see. You can see we've got all kinds of different shades that we could use. We can use purple or green or whatever we like. I'm going to go back to that blue. That one's pretty good. Now I want to change the title of this from my glorious Padlet to whatever my timeline title is or whatever my timeline is about. In this case, we'll say timeline of inaugural addresses. Put a little description, and we'll say highlights of presidential inaugural addresses. And we can put in a little icon if we like, so we can still customize that. We can put in a little emojis or anything else we want, or we can say no icon at all. In this case here, we'll just go in and leave that nice little smiley face there. So I've got my icon, I've got my wallpaper set, my color scheme is set. You can change your fonts if you like to, and of course you can do all the things like attributions and allowing comments or not allowing comments, allowing reactions, not allowing reactions. If you're going to share this with your students and allow them to add things to it, you probably want to moderate those submissions and you probably want to put in a profanity filter as well. So now let's get into how do you actually add things onto this Padlet. Well, start posting. Let's start way over here on this first little plus symbol click on that and I'm going to write in here President Obama's first inaugural address and in this case here I want to make sure I spell it correctly and I also want to write in the date January 2009. Now, let's include a little video. So, to do that, we can include a link right here, or you can open up this menu. If you had the video, you could go and upload it yourself if it's video that you've saved on your computer, or you can use any of these other options here. But I'm just going to use the option to link to a video. And I have the video pulled up right here. And so I'm going to use the link option and save that. And now we have that right in the marker. So once I've added that, I can now add in another marker on the timeline. And we can repeat that process. We might say something like President Obama's second inaugural address. Now, this time, I might want to go and find a picture instead of using a video, or I might want to include audio instead of a video. So in this case, I'm going to pull up a picture from President Obama's second inaugural address. So I'm going to pull up the video here, I'm going to, or the image I want, I'm sorry, I'm going to pick up Pick that file, and let's go and grab the image that I found. 
Now I found the image using the Creative Commons filter on Google Image Search, which led me to this page here on Wikipedia. And you'll see it's a Creative Commons licensed image. So I do have to make sure that I give credit to the author of the image. And so to do that, I'm going to include that information in the text down here. So I'll include that down there with the image. Now I can still go in and include more information about this if I want to, but for this demo, I'm gonna leave it just like that. And again, now you can see we have more plus symbols where we can add more items onto our timeline. Now when I'm ready to share this timeline, I can just hit that share button up there. As you can see here, I can share it in Google Classroom, I can embed it, get a QR code, or just copy a link that I then email to my students or post in any learning management system that I might be using. So that's how you can create a multimedia timeline by using Padlet. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.